All right, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, my ship rig is back, uh, or hab rig, whatever you want to call it. The jig that I use to showcase habs uh, in the best way I can. With one difference from before is I have a giant 3x3 slab right in the middle. That is because I'm going to test the objects and showcase them at some point. But right now, I wanted to show you a little bit of something we found. So, we've always discussed this. I've talked about it in videos. Uh, I've discussed it with people on YouTube, on the forums, etc. That we really wish one by ones were more versatile. Because if we look at the one by ones here, they the space they take up, the volume of space is wasted. It, it's literally just, I might as well just have these things. The cross passages from Nova. I might as well have them or have these guys. The Hope Tech spines. Because th they have no function other than, in Starfield I mean, other than something to walk through, something to walk into and out if I have a docking plank or if I use it to come in through the landing bay, etc. Attach it to a uh, cockpit. Because they're just, I don't know, unimpressive. But that was until yesterday. Or what was it yesterday? The day before. We, when we got the new patch on beta. I'm going to show you a little something that I did. Now, I do want to make it clear I am no interior decorator. Uh, but I've got a little something going on where I made the one by ones actually have some kind of purpose. Bedrooms. You can now place items in these. Now, this is how it comes. A lot of this stuff in here is how it comes. Uh, I did place this bed. I placed the hockey stick down there. This with all the stuff on top of it. I did actually hand decorate a lot of this. Put a safe down there. Put in the trash can. Uh, all of this partition. Yeah, sorry. Partition with a poster on it. The sink didn't work real well because you have this angle, so you can't really see it, but I did place, um, I don't know, a soap jar on it. And we have a toilet. Fire extinguisher must have near a toilet, of course, if it's been a bad day. So that's really awesome. Got this little uh, lamp planter up there. And then I made a display wall for posters as you're going down through these spines, the cross abs. Uh, but this showcases something. So we, nip, wrong button. when you go into this and you look at your posters, there are posters that have this edge detail. And then there are posters that do not. So if I find one of these that does not, right there, it looks like crap because it actually sinks it. Now, this is only here. This does not count like solid walls in a space like this, they work fine. Uh, this is just these cross habs, um, crossways, excuse me. It looks bad, but the ones that don't have that look great. And and they add quite a bit of interest to, that's what we're always trying to do. We're trying to make things look interesting. Gives you a little something to talk about when you're walking down. And then I made another bedroom because this space has no beds in it and, other than what I made and they work. You can go to sleep. You can do all the things you need to do, and they work just fine. I put in a water drinking fountain there, drinking... What are these things called? Whatever. Got a, a play piece up here. I was going to set up the whole game deck, and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of pieces to place one by one. This is weird. So it is showing the chair right there, sort of. It's a, it's a little bit off, and it's showing as if the door is down. Unless I'm misrepresenting and it always does something like this, it sure looks like that. But without us, which is interesting. I've seen Sam sitting in this chair repeatedly. He really likes that chair. Uh, put a dartboard up. So, you know, they've got some good times. Got us a little uh, storage box there. Got some rugs going on. You know, a little bit lived in. And then if we go to the other side, I'll show you a few other things you can do. And I think this kind of makes one by ones a little OP, if I'm being honest. So got a little weapon rack in here. We've got the industrial workbench. We have a bigger weapons rack that doesn't work very well because of this curve. 
Uh, it works okay. I mean, it's functional, but the display doesn't work real great. I put in a service. Now, you can't do both sides because I have the hatch there. But if I didn't have the hatch, you could do both sides and just line it. So instead, I just put a bunch of random things in here. Put this uh, couch in there, another storage box, a helmet display, got a power cell, these weird vacuum thingamabobs. You can place some items on benches, but not very much. These two benches especially really hate having items placed on them. Got a trash can. This little display, we got ourselves a little bit of a picture. Now, the, again, because of this curve, the pictures kind of sink in a little. It's a little strange. Little backpack stand right there. Much more functional. And I've seen several of the characters in here working on these stations. And then the theater room. We have a, a quote, big screen that has a projector displaying to it. The couch that I really like, uh, kind of like a suede-looking couch, real, real fancy. A couple of chairs in the back. The seat's seven in here. Getting things down here on this bottom level is nearly impossible. It is such a pain to do. I don't know if that's a collision issue uh, or just this system's in its infancy and maybe Bethesda will improve it. I'm not holding my breath, but you know. Got some... Okay, so now we do have an item that sunk down. So remember how I was saying in the outpost how items sink down into things? Well, that fishbowl did. I hand placed these with the, uh, with decorate. Had to think about it for a minute. Yep, there you go. There's another item that sinks down this canteen. I got another shelving unit, got some other thing. I just started gra grabbing random things out of the ship's cargo hold and started placing them around to make it look a little more lived in. Did one of the different rugs so you could see what something else looks like. But, and then some paintings, and once again, so these are actually a big rectangle, and it sticks off on both sides. Now, it doesn't stick outside the ship, but it does stick out a little bit, but they still look nice. And it gives it something, again, we're always trying to just make it a little more interesting. Give it a little something that it didn't have before. I wish we had lights. You know, something like this kind of stuff, I wish we had because you'll notice a lot of places are fairly dark, like this 3x3, and this is the best one, best of the three that has some nice solid long walls because I'm going to start doing all the, uh, I need to learn buttons. I'm going to start doing all the various posters, picture frames, I'm going to do every single item and I'm going to do a videos about all the items, so that's what this huge space is for. And But this one was all about these one way ones, and I think uh, this will really spur people's creativity to come up with some pretty awesome one-by-ones. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone.